what's up gemini and thank you guys so much for tuning in so guys i am finally back i know i was mia this october but i just had so much to catch up on and i'm just about caught up with that so just needed a break guys but let's see what's going on with you guys for november let's see what we can expect for the future what happened in the past now keep in mind guys this will be for sun moon rising and venus gemini signs all of the energy that I pick up on, it could either be your energy or it could be the energy of someone around you. So do keep in mind that it is transferable energy. Okay. So what is going on for the sign of Gemini, November 2019? What is going on with the sign of Gemini? All right, guys, so we have your past, present, and we have future. Sorry, guys, my computer cuts me off sometimes, so I was just putting down your future cards, looking at the energy that you guys have here. So the energy that came out for you guys is the hanged man. Now, this is a really, really great energy to have just for the simple fact that it's not a person who's trying to force something. It's a person who's really just going to go with the flow of a situation um, and they're just going to do what makes most sense, you know, the path of least resistance for them. Now, we have the king of cups and we have the seven of cups. So maybe there's something in your life where there's something that's an illusion. You're not seeing it for what it truly is. Maybe it has to do with love. Maybe someone's kind of like being a player or maybe there's something in your life that just makes you feel emotionally unstable and kind of like all over the place. So we'll look into that and we'll see what comes up, okay? Now the first card that you guys have here for your past, Six of Swords. So when the Six of Swords comes up, there's something in your life that you have a difficult time, you know, releasing, moving away from, a move that's difficult to make. You have the Four of Cups, so you could have accepted the fact that you had to make a difficult move here, okay? And we have the Queen of Cups here. So with the Queen of Cups, this could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy. But either someone accepted that they had to move away from something or someone moved away from something to accept something, okay? But regardless of what this is, you want to take the path where it's just like it's not going to stress you out. And again, it feels natural for you. So there's something here, you know, with the Four of Pentacles as your next card for the past. Something here that you need to preserve yourself with. Something that, you know, you, you kind of find yourself being careful with it. Whether it's, you know, how you spend your money or how um, you handle a situation. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? Five of Swords in the reverse. And I see the Nine of Pentacles. So I see someone just being really reserved and trying to be as self-sufficient as possible in a situation um, just to avoid conflict, okay? There may be a new beginning that somebody wants here, but I just see too much loss that comes in with that. Possibly a third party situation, possibly some sort of betrayal here. So it could be you guys protecting yourself from something and maybe staying single from something or just staying out of it in order to, um, again, avoid anything that would make you feel like that. The next card that you guys have for the past, Queen of Swords. So this could be your energy here, whether you're male or female, someone who's just very strong, someone who's decisive, they know what they want, they know how to get from point A to B. And this is someone who's easily going to cut you out if you're adding any sort of detriment to their life. Okay. Why is this Queen of Swords here? All right, two cards came out here. We have the Moon card and we have the King of Wands. So maybe you guys were dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, okay, with all of this. But honestly, guys, there's something here that you have success with by avoiding, letting go of, okay? There's something here that a person may have been waiting on, but they knew, it's like they knew in the bottom of their hearts that this was something that had to end, okay? But there's still that sense of waiting there. I'm going to pull one more card here. 
We have the page of wands in the verse. So yeah, there's something that you fall away from or someone else falls away from. Maybe there was manipulation here, but it's just something that's not being manifested anymore. And I see that being a good idea. I see that bringing good change into your life. Okay. In the present moment, Gemini, the first card that you guys have is a chariot in the verse. So this could be something in your life that you truly feel you have no control of. When things kind of like spiral out of control in a certain area. So let's just see why that's showing up. Seven of Cups. And the four of wands so there's something here that is just an illusion guys it's, it's it's not being seen for what it truly is with walking away you find stability but the thing is you have to choose to walk away because you're between a rock and a hard place and i feel like whether it's you or someone around you someone's just not moving even though they know what they need to do okay so the next card that you guys have for the present moment and this is the center of your reading this is what everything is going to tap into page of cups in the reverse when this comes up there's going to be something that you may have wanted to go forward with um maybe an idea you want to go forward with or you know an offer a relationship whatever but this could be that it wasn't genuine or that there's just someone who's not you know involving themselves in this anymore why is the page of cups in the reverse here as your central energy and in your present moment High Priestess in the reverse. And we have the Seven of Wands. Guys, whatever this is, there's some sort of imbalance here. There's something that you guys really, really need to be strong against. But it's like there's passion here at the same time. Um, Gemini, I have to be real with y'all right now. And again, I know that this isn't going to be everyone. I know that this is a situation that, you know, maybe it's someone doing this to you or something that you're just experiencing outside of yourself. But with how the cards are showing, whether this is you or someone around you, okay, I see someone who strongly has a passion and desire for something that is no good for them. I see conflict. I see this causing unhappiness, but I still see the desire there and, and the willingness to take it in regardless of how it can make you feel, okay? With whatever this is, guys, you have to have integrity, okay? You have to have integrity and you, you can't allow that sort of thing to happen, okay? The last card, oop, let's put that back. The last card that you guys have for the present moment is a two of cups in the reverse. So a fallout of some sort, it could be two people arguing, you falling out of something, you dropping a friend, family member. You have the five of wands. And you have the empress card. Okay, either you guys are rejecting something heavily to go in another direction or it's vice versa. There's something that you may feel rejected from or there might be a lot of problems with something because of a new beginning that's happening. Somebody feels maybe rejected. Someone may feel like something was just kind of karmic for them and somebody just wasn't being truthful. But there's a new beginning here that is causing, you know, tension for sure. And there's still a sense of waiting with whatever this is, although I don't see it coming out. I see this as masochistic, guys. Whether it's you or, you know, it's, again, a cross watcher who's, who's dealing with the Gemini. Um, yeah, this seems really masochistic. It, it seems like a person knows they're going to hurt themselves, but they don't care. Okay. You guys have the Lover's card as the first card for the future. So what's going on here? Lover's card, that could be someone that you're very intimate with. That could be a close friend, a close family member. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Four of Swords. Okay. You guys are, you know, in this case, you're meant to take the path that could feel burdening, that could make you feel sad at first. Because... Yeah, there's something here that seems good, but the energies around it are really, really shitty, guys. This can't be trusted. You can't move forward with this. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, it, it makes your life spiral. You know, and I don't want to say out of control, but when you're trying to go right, this makes you go left. Okay. The good thing with the Hierophant being here, it was at the bottom of the deck. 
um, is that when that card shows up, it shows that there was something that was meant to be in our life. And it makes us a better person because it was in our life. It makes us more in tune with um, our highest potential and it pushes us towards our highest potential. So whatever this was, regardless of how it affects you, um, it's actually a good thing that it happened. I just don't want you guys putting yourself in a position where you're compromising your dignity as a person, okay? To, to you know, aimlessly run after something that offers you nothing, okay? Why is this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse here? We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Guys, that is the path that's going to be the best. It keeps showing that victory comes in making a decision that you might not primarily be happy with okay at first you may not like this but blessings do come in once you walk away from something wish fulfillment does come in once you walk away from something a new beginning comes in that's very fulfilling once you walk away from something but you got to walk away from something okay last card that you have here for the future the devil card in the verse removing yourself from a toxic cycle removing yourself from a toxic person a toxic environment. Knight of Pentacles in the verse, not going towards something anymore. Let's see if I can shuffle right now. Five of Cups. Yeah, guys, you remove yourself from something toxic, but it's like you're upset about it. Or maybe someone around you is upset about this. Now let's focus on this for a second, guys. This person is uh, this person rather is upset because they're focusing on these cups right here that's spilled over. There's nothing there, there's nothing left in them. They're completely ignoring what they still have going for themselves. Okay. I am a firm believer, guys, that what is meant for you cannot be compromised. I don't give a fuck when it comes to love, when it comes to work. If something is meant for you, if you were put on this earth for it, there's no competition. That's why I think it's freaking insane when I see people, you know, being jealous over others. It's like, we're all here for something. We're all meant to love someone. We're all meant to do something. We're all meant to excel in our own way. And when you truly, truly realize that and you truly put your faith in the universe in that way, you're not going to let yourself go crazy. And that's when things truly start working for you because it's like you have this calmness about you. And when you're calm and you just know that things are going to work out, they just do, okay? And I, I, again, I think it's just very powerful to get to that point where you know if it's for me, it will be for me, okay? This is not a time, guys, for forcing. This is not a time to go for, you know, what you may initially want. The question I want you guys to ask yourself with whatever situation this is that you're dealing with, is are you tending to your present self or are you taking care of your future self when it comes to this i'll ask that again are you tending right now to your f present self your present desires or the future because by you guys tending to a present desire that i see here you're fucking over you in the future no one's gonna have your back but you and isn't that sad if you're not even going to have your own back? Drop this shit. I'm like, I'm getting mad for y'all. No, we're not doing this. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, Gemini. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to pull some cards of advice, but please, guys, you know... If something is just... If you have to fight, kick, scream, argue, all this, bend over backwards, it is not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not I've been there, I've done that, and it brought me to a point where I didn't even want to live because I kept trying to force things, I kept trying to say what was for me instead of just allowing what was truly for me to come in. Every second that you spend, you know, trying to entertain the wrong energy is every second that you take away from the right one. The only person you're robbing is yourself. All right, guys, so let's get some advice cards. What do you guys need to see or hear right now? Page of Swords, Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands. Okay, guys, transition can be uncomfortable sometimes. We know that. But whatever this is, 
whatever's causing instability within your heart, soul, mind, spirit, whatever, that needs to be dropped. Once this is dropped, look at what you have. You have abundance. You have something that's just cohesively just working for you. You have passion. You speak your truth. But there's something here that, you know, could make this all not come in if you're just focusing, you know, on the wrong energies. We have the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, and we have the Hangman in the reverse. So definitely move, to, uh, move away, guys, from anything that's forced. And right now, specifically, if there is something new coming in for you, something that you see taking off quickly, something that um, just makes you excited, maybe it has to do with traveling, maybe it has to do with moving jobs, moving homes, or just moving towards, you know, moving towards something quickly, keep it to yourself for now. Don't, don't share it yet. Make sure that you solidify whatever this is, okay? But yeah, once you guys take that action, you're good, okay? Sometimes the things that we desire aren't always the best things for us. And always keep in mind, guys, because we got this fellow coming out over here, the devil card. The devil will always come as everything you've ever wished for. Okay? Be careful. Just because you ask for something doesn't mean it's the best thing for you. All right? So, Gemini, I love you. Get through this like bosses, guys. I don't want to see you guys being dragged by a situation that doesn't even deserve your time, okay? So, guys, um, I did open up my website again for questions and for many, many readings. So, if you guys need anything, it's there. The link is in the description below. And then if you guys are on Instagram, highvibrations44, just shoot me a message if you guys need anything um, through email. And then my Instagram, like I said, is there. But I love you guys. Good luck with the situation. I'll be back later on to see how this is developing. Take care, Gemini.